Super 73 Rose Ave, fresh out of the shop. I have now got hydraulic brakes on it. Tectro Ariga, I think it's called. Sorry, it's dark. Darn, too dark in here. Yeah, baby, it's It's okay. Um, Tectro Ariga. Anyway, they have a brake lock on them, which is kind of cool, like an emergency brake, or like a yeah. You know, there you go. There it is. So the locks, the brake stays locked. That's kind of neat. Um, it's hard to do with one hand. There it is. So anyway, now I've got really nice metal feeling um, brake levers. Before they were plastic original from super 73 and i think that's a real nice thing there's the uh the new back seat attached just a pad with leather four points of contact pretty good and then oops there we go and then there's the the new brake doesn't look a whole lot different from the other one from the original except that it is hydraulic and metal lots of metal I like metal a lot more than I like plastic not to say that their old brakes were plasticky but the handles certainly were also what he did was he routed the wire for these hydraulic brakes through the bike here and I think that's fantastic because I tend to ride this bike, or sorry, carry this bike on a rack, and the rack fits underneath this bar here and here, if you can see it. So with the wires underneath there, they get frayed up really badly and the last thing I wanted to do was fray up a hydraulic line and have hydraulic fluid everywhere so he routed that inside and I already rerouted the power wire inside as well just inside the tube not actually in the tube but instead of being under the tube it is now running parallel to the tube therefore when I put this bike on the rack it doesn't mess, it doesn't mess, it's screwing me up, man. It doesn't mess the, I'm, I'm kind of tired, sorry, I've been at work for a long time. Um, I got the fender kit on this as well. Had to put an extra zap strap here just to keep it from flapping. It was quite loud and flappy sounding while riding. Um, so yeah, now we've got internally routed hydraulic lines i sure hope that's not going to be a problem it, it looks okay i think he did it all right um yeah hydraulic lines that are buried basically which isn't a bad thing so i am assuming they run through this tube oh yeah and then out right here and down nicely routed direct very nice, I think he did good work. Got the work done at Vintage Iron Cycles here in Vancouver, British Columbia. We like the back seat very much. It works out well for doubling the girlfriend and the foot pegs, which uh, I wish they stayed in the up position, but they don't, but they're okay. That helps for her to ride on the back. And uh, what else? Had to mount my water bottle underneath this pipe because uh, because of the um, fender piece there, I couldn't mount it where it should be mounted. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh, I've got a bell on here. And the phone holder, which is a quad lock, which seems to be bomb proof if you ask me. I've got this one on this bike, which is the bicycle uh, one, the bicycle mount on the other bike, on the Hyper Scrambler from Juiced Bikes, I have the motorcycle mount, which is pretty bomb proof as well. So those are the new uh, Tektro something or other brakes. 
and I'm pretty impressed so far. The stopping power seems pretty excellent. The uh, Hopefully I won't have to be doing a ton of adjustments like I was before with the mechanical disc brakes that came with this bike originally. And there's a little update on the Super 73 Rose Ave Special Edition, Limited Edition uh, bicycle with some nice upgrades. And of course I've got the lights in the front. Wonder if they still work. Haven't had this bike for a while because it's been in the shop. Yeah, there it is. So when you're rolling down the street, you got this red rim glowing, which is pretty neat. Uh, those are the mods I have done to this bike. I just put the uh, key on some paracord and wear it around my neck while I'm riding the bike. And I usually just hang it on the handlebar when I'm not riding it. So I always know where it is and can get to it quickly. Uh, there is nothing else I can tell you. I think the uh, for where I live, uh, the fenders are very important because it gets wet here a lot. And uh, last thing you want is mud and crap um, floating up on you while you're riding and on your bike. So keeps the bike cleaner, you know. And there it is, the, uh, the updated Rose Ave from Super 73 Lithium Cycles. I can't wait to take her out again. Just had a little uh, run on it. The battery's uh, on the charger over here, charging up. Uh, I do now have a Grin Cycle Satiator for the Hyper Scrambler, and I'm gonna take it down to Grin Technologies very soon and get them to create a wire so I can plug this battery into the cycle satiator um, because I believe that's a way superior charger to this